Okay, let's start with his very first string, his 1 to 1. It's a nice uh, launcher with 0 meter, and it's also, you can punish with it. With your forward 2. Or you can convert with it. You punch with it, convert, meterless. It's nice. You probably have to go into something there. Shit. Shit, dude. <laughs> I'm having a hard time. There it is. Meagerless 24%, which is really good. 1 2 1 is probably your best punisher because you get the uh, meagerless, uh, meagerless launcher that you don't have to end with uh, any special move, really. You can go back into it if you want to. 13%, no meager. I think you got 1 2 2, overhead, high mid, high mid overhead. It's a uh, good move, hard knockdown. And then you got your 1, 2, 3. It's a good move. Uh, if you got like a launcher, or if you just want to end it with something like that. You got your forward, your main string with really any Joker variation because it's a 11 frame fast mid. Uh, it's also got some reach to it. Let's see what the max range would be. Maybe about the, right there. Yeah, right about here. So it's you got some pretty good reach to it. Um, there's someone just trying to like poke or you're in like a down one more. Let them down more. It's going to this. Let them down one. Going to this. Uh, but it is a mid mid low. Really good. Pretty sure it's safe too. Uh, and you got your main ender for some variations of Joker. Um, it's also got good reach. You can do it out here, and it's uh, the two one three is a low, and it, it hits pretty far away on that low. I don't think it's a mirrorless launcher now. You recovery frame is too bad. Then you got your two one four, which is just mids, high mid mid, so it's pretty good. And then you got your forward two one two, which is another mirrorless launcher. I think no. Nah. Recovery trench or two, too, too strong on it, but uh, it is a crushing blow. I know that for a fact. Uh, if this is the only part that hits, or if it's a punish, one of the two. But uh, this is your gonna be like your neutral flexies move, even though it's a high. You got an opponent who likes to block or whatever, uh, high in the mid screen, you know, or someone who's just throwing out a move. You go to punish, like for example. Shit. I should have gave myself a knife to get back. It's also pretty quick. It's a uh, fucking 13 frame startup, so it beats his. If you know they're gonna do it. Or at least they interrupt it. It's quick. Uh, oops. Let me actually get that right, though. So, like, hold on. Playing the neutral, you know, something like, you know he's going to do something like that. You can jump back. Okay, well, I'm terrible at this game, so hold on. It's a good whiff punish move if I can do it. He, he's just got good range. See, good whiff. Good whiff punish. Jesus Christ. I had a hard time there. <laughs> And then you got your, uh, it's also an overhead mix, so it's a mid-mid, or a high overhead, high overhead mid, I believe. Yeah, high overhead mid. So it's a really good move. Um, as long as you hit that high, I mean, you can do it back here, and, you know, pick up the distance, be able to go into the overhead, so long as they don't interrupt or poke or anything. And then you got your low starter, which is, uh, Low mid mid, which is nice. Your low start is pretty good for the mix ups and shit. 
and you got your grand entrance, which is really plus, I believe. And it's a mega overhead. It's a far-reaching mega overhead. Yeah. And it's a crushing blow if you miss the first hit of the mid. So that's really good. Uh, Joker's got some really good uh, mid-screen moves. And then, alright, let's check out his frame data real quick on his moves. We'll keep everything safe and plus on here, so take everything off real quick because if you don't, it looks a little funky. Um, you got your 1 2 1, which is minus 2. You got your 1 2 3, which is safe. Your forward uh, 1 4 2 is safe. Uh, your forward 2-1 is safe. Your back 3-2-4 uh, safe. Your forward, um, yeah, okay, so that wasn't plus, but it is really safe. Your forward 3-2. So all of these moves are safe. You're not really going to get any ridiculous plus shit off of it, but you are going to get, I mean, not punished for throwing any of these out. Fuck. Probably need to put them on block all somewhere else. So you're not gonna get punished for throwing any of these out. You can just block. So you fuck up a punish, you go for a punish, you know you fuck it up, they block it, just block, you're good. This move, which is his mid. Uh, he doesn't have any plus chains, which I thought he did, but he does not. This is going to be the main move you're using with Choker, too, uh, to pressure with, and whatever uh, variation you're using. Um, and it's safe, so these two are going to be your main ones, and the first two hits of this are safe, so I wouldn't throw out the extra part of it, depending on how unsafe it is. Uh, yeah, it's minus 11, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't even risk throwing out the last part of it. But, you know, just throw out the first two, and you're good. Not the first two block, you're fine. So that's good when it comes to him. Um, and then this is damn near plus, and so is this. This is damn near plus. So you can kind of risk throwing out a move there because your your down one becomes uh, six frames on that. So if you can kind of beat out every other down one, you're not that far away, or even your down three which is a 9 frame start up so it becomes 8 frames if they're that far away unless they have a long reaching down 1 your true low down 3 is going to reach them and you can go down 3 to your overhead which is back forward 2 so if you're wanting to really pressure that's probably a good move use your down 3 there and then this is just as good because you're even a little bit closer there and it's an overhead so they gotta block the overhead and if they block the mid and don't block the overhead it's a crushing blow, so that's really good for him. Now let's check out some of his combo stuff. Uh, we'll check out his other plus frames first, too. Um, I don't think this variation has very many combos, but we'll see. Him, he, he Joker's mainly pressure. I'm not. This variation might be as good zoning variation, but this is your meterless launcher. This is going to be your overhead starter, and this is going to be your low starter. Let's check out his uh, standing frames and his uh, just his single button frames. He's got uh, his one as a startup of eight. It's minus three on block, so it's pretty good. His forward one is a startup of eleven and minus eight on block, so you definitely gonna want to finish that string out. It's down one seven frames, minus five, so it's safe. Uh, standing two is a startup of nine, and it's uh, minus three on block. His forward 2, for being a long reaching forward 2, has only got a startup of 13 and it's 0 on block. So it's just kind of like you're in the neutral again. Uh, his down 2 has got a startup of 10 and it's crush and blow. And it's minus 10 on block, so it's unsafe as hell. Um, his standing 3 is a startup of 10, minus 3 on block, so you're still safe there. If you want to just sell out a standing 3, you know, push him back a little bit on block. Um, you're minus 3, so you're safe. Um, your back one, or your back three, your low is really unsafe. It's minus 14. So if you throw that move out, you need to be finishing the string. 
and it's already a startup of 14, so you gotta be really careful. And what is actually the stagger part of it? It's minus 13, so I finished the full stream, put the 4 in there, and you're pretty much, you're close to plus, especially with as far back as you knock them. And, uh, then you got your forward, your long reaching, like neutral, into your overhead. It is a start of 26, but it's minus 6 on block, so you're safe, which is good. You got your down 3, start of 9, minus 5, pretty good. You stand in 4, uh, you're neutral on block, but it's a start of 12. Uh, you're going to be using it, this in some quarter combos, so that's good. And then you got your back 4, which is a hard knockdown, I believe. Well, we won't know, but it's a true low, and it's only a start of uh, 11, and it's a knockdown. And you got your big finish startup of 11, minus 13 on block, so you gotta be careful with it. But it is a long-reaching move. Like, really long-reaching. So it's pretty good to use. Alright, but let's go into his special moves. We'll look at them, and then we'll see what they are on block and shit. Okay, so you got Baxi Poo, which is gonna be your uh, high-zoning moves. You can meter burn it to a mid, and it's a uh, one-meter launcher. Um, I'm pretty sure you can hit it, uh, if you hit it, it is a launcher, yeah, so you can jump up, combo, into something else. Right there, 1 meter, 25% off of, you know, someone not blocking in the mid-screen on this. So, that's pretty good. And then you got your Bird Boy Beatdown, which is your back forward too. Uh, it's a true overhead, and it's a mix. So, like, even in this variation, you can go into the low right there, go into the overhead. It's a 50-50 on that. That's why your main string is going to be this. Uh, and also, in this variation, it has backseat pupil, which is also a low. So, if you don't want to do that low, which I would recommend doing because that is a safe string, and I'm not sure about backseat pupil, if you want to knock them, knock them back a little bit, you can need to burn it. And you get four shots on it. So if they're not blocking low, you get a 26% combo for one meter. And even then, it's a hard knockdown. So even if you are uh, a soft knockdown, so you can do that, knock them back. You're in the neutral again. Wouldn't recommend that against spawn, but so this is your mix really. You can use forward two, forward one, four two, or you can use forward four, forward one four, uh, back forward two. You can meter burn this, which is 20%. If you're going to meter burn one, I'd recommend doing the back CQ peel. Um, if, you know, you catch them on the mix. But it does have a fairly long startup, kind of. And, I mean, it's 26%, one meter. And you push them back full screen, so you can go back into your stuff. You know, this is a really good signing character. Um, because you do get those four shots. You know, if someone's trying to jump in over the low, you can meter burn it, and there's three extra shocks coming out. Then you got your puppet parry. So let's see what that does. You can actually hold the parry too. I thought you could hold the parry. Oh you can wait hold you you can hold back CP or back CP. Yeah. So they don't know whether you're just gonna get a single shot or throw out the meter burn. Um let's see what the puppet parry actually does. Let's do that. Shit. Does that, so now you've damaged. Oh shit, I accidentally got the. You can meter burn it, and it is a launcher. So, 1 meter, 22%. Not the best thing in the world, but I mean, it's something, I guess. And then you got your CCDDEGEC. I don't even know what the fuck that is, but this can be meter burned full screen. It's another projectile. It will catch them. And my friend actually showed me some bullshit that you can do, dude. I don't even know if I can do it. Hold on. He, he figured out how to do it. I don't know if I can. Hold on. You gotta be at full screen. But it is a shitty little combo. Okay, you gotta time that just right. Damn, I didn't do it right.
yeah, so you can combo off that. Two meters full screen combo, which is crazy. But this is also, alright, let's check out the frame data for him. Okay, so you got Baxi Poo. It's a startup of 23 and it's minus 8 on block, so you're never going to want to use that in a combo. Uh, you can delay it, you can cancel it for um, a meter, I'm pretty sure. No, it's a no meter cancel, so this is good. So you can kind of, you want to keep pressuring, cancel it. Oop. Cancel. Shit. Cancel it. I mean, it's got a long startup on the cancel, actually, so. Maybe don't, I mean, it's a startup of one, but there's 43 recovery frames to it, so I wouldn't recommend it. And then the mirror burn version has a startup of 36 and a block. Uh, you're unsafe on block with 11 frames, so I wouldn't recommend that in any situation. Bird Boy Beatdown, startup, startup of 23. It's minus 27 on block. You're never going to want to throw that out unless you know you're hitting them. Because, I mean, it is really unsafe on block. Um, you got your backseat pew pew, start up a 33, uh, it's minus 15 on block, uh, if you meter burn it, it's minus 28, so if you, again, in your combos, it's one of those things, you're really gonna want to know you're hitting it, um, or I just go with this, I mean, you're better off going with this, because minus 28 compared to, well, minus 27, Ugh. well, I mean, this one's only minus 15, so, Maybe recommend doing this one instead of the minus 28. Yo, what's up, Swine? How you doing tonight, my brother? Um, and then you got the Puppet Parry. Start up and on. So it's pretty good. Um, you can extend it. You can't extend it for very long, but you can extend it. Um, of course, it doesn't hit, so, you know, there's no block or anything, but start up a 9, start up a 16 to extend it, you're minus 2 on block, so you are unsafe there, or you're safe there still, and your puppet parry, you have to actually amplify it, uh, you have to actually hit it to amplify it, then you got your CC move, I don't even know what the fuck to call that, but it's start up of 19, and it's minus 14 on block, uh, you can delay it by holding it. Which is kind of like some pressure shit, dude. Like some funky pressure. But you can do that, meter burn it. And the meter burn is minus 14 on block, too, but it's a star for 6, so. Um, it is quicker to do something like this than anything else, I believe. Yeah, because it comes out instantly. But it is a, it is a launcher. No, no, it's not. Oh. Yeah, it's not a launcher. There's too much recovery there. Um, but yeah, those are special moves. He doesn't really have a lot of combos in this variation. I mean, your mid-screen combo is mainly going to be like something like this. I mean, next no meter, 24%, but you do got to catch him, uh, you know, with a punish. Your 1-2-1, one, one, uh, because it's a mid. Yeah, so it's, you really got to catch him with that, but that's going to be like your main combo. If you want to spend a meter on it. See what you get. Maybe 30%. Maybe. Not even 28. 26. So 1 meter 26%. Um, you might be able to go into the low there. I don't know. No, you can't. Um, or you might be able to go into the other thing. But I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you're getting maybe more damage off the other. Let's see. Shit. Even meter burns, you're getting a lot less damage. Just do 2 1. Is that a launcher, too? Yeah, you might be getting a, a lot more damage uh, with 2 1. Yeah, you get a lot more damage with 2 1. You're right. So 2 1 is going to be what you're going to want to use there. I completely, completely forgot about 2 1 being a string. But. 2-1, 27%, I mean, it, it, it does have some weird timing, seeing how it's, it's not forward, you just gotta dash in 2-1, you might not even have to dash, yeah, you do, so, if you feel more comfortable with dashing and doing a forward instead of dashing and doing a uh, standing, um, you can do forward 1-4, or you can do standing 2-1, which is nice. 
Uh, but I think that's going to be your like main combos, unless you hit something like that. Unless you get a lucky hit like that. And then you can probably dash to one. Not even. Maybe. Maybe I'm just not hitting it right. You really get it out of it, like the right shit. But, yeah. You don't have to dash. Huh. It's making me dash. You can also hit forward two. Forward. Forward two one. If you don't want to dash. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of strings you can use there. Forward 2-1, uh, 2-1, standing 2-1, or, you know, forward 4. There's a lot of moves you can choose to use there. Uh, you got your starter here, but most of it's going to be uh, mixing people with this and just stepping back, zoning, using your parry when you can. Because uh, you got two, three zoning moves with this variation. You got this, your back to pew pew, which can be meter burned for four shots. And you got this, which is a little weird, and I wouldn't recommend using mirror. Maybe? I mean, it is a good pressure. Like, nobody's going to move on that. You can't jump it, so. I mean, you might be able to jump it, but I don't know. But mainly, you're just going to, it's just going to be like every other variation. You're just going to want to be, like, mixing with this, you know. You can go into the low, or you can go into the overhead. You know, do that. It knocks them back, step back, so. Uh, keeping things unbreakable, too. Yeah. Um, and uh, we'll look at the crushing blows and shit. Oh shit, something else we gotta, uh, yeah, keeping on things to unbreakable pew pew, definitely. Uh, it's something else we gotta talk about with Joker. Let's change the health to one, you can cancel. You can cancel his fatal. Shit. So you can cancel Joker's fatal. If I can do it right. I haven't done it much, but... You can cancel it into something else, which is... I gotta learn how to do it. Okay, I'm doing it wrong. Let's see. How you actually cancel it? Okay, I think you gotta hold it and then cancel it. Yeah, hold it and then cancel it. So you can pressure, cancel, going to another pressure stream. Uh, you can do it a lot quicker than what I'm doing it. But, uh, yeah. And then you got crushing blows. Let's see what his crushing blows are in this variation. You guys down two, of course. Down two. So, down two, one, two, one. If you have that crush and blow loaded up two, you can do that. Um, so yeah, down two, one, two, one. Really good. And you won't get that extra damage. Uh, just do forward, uh, 1 4, yeah, do forward 1 4 after the fatal blow. If I can actually cancel it right. I gotta learn how to cancel that because I do play Joker 2 myself. Alright. I didn't know I dropped that many frames not too long ago. Um, he's also got this, uh, his back forward two is also crushing blow. You gotta land three amplified versions of these, but then you get this. So you can end strings pretty well. So let's say you catch them on punish, go in, do that. Don't amplify it, 35% right there. Or something like, you know, you catch them even with the mix, go overhead, 32%. This mix, if you catch them mid screen, you know, you're getting 32-4. You're able to end with this if you're comfor comfortable enough to. You're getting almost 40% off of that. Now, like, cancel with forward-forward and keep holding it just to interrupt, uh, just to input, uh, yeah, yeah. 
No, I get what you mean. I'm not, I'm not quick with that, am I? No. Alright, that's a little bit better. Alright. But yeah, you can cancel his Fatal Blow, which is nuts. Uh, let's check out his other Fatal, or his other Crushing Blows. Uh, if he has any on this, I don't think he does. Uh, he's got another... His forward 1-2... One two, his forward two one two is also a crushing blow. So you can say, if I can do this, you might be able to hit the one two one. Yeah. So you can you can get some good meterless damage there with that. Fuck. I really want to hit it because it gives a nice combo. Damn, I had it. See, there you go. You won't get this extra damage. You ain't hitting 40% there unless you fucking time your crushing blows, right? And you make sure you have both of those ready right then and there. But this uh, triggers if it is a combo attack or it is a counter or a punish, which is nice. So. And then this is also a crushing blow. But you cannot hit with the first. Cannot be used if laughing lunge is flawless block. Uh, crushing blow triggers if the second hit of the combo is the first to connect. So you gotta miss the first hit to do it. But yeah, it's a nice, nice little crushing blow, 14%. And I mean, you do have to time it right to make sure that doesn't hit. But if you know how to play Joker, you know how long that move goes, you practice it a lot. Once you press, uh, Forward, forward, just let go of the R2 and L2 because once you hit forward, forward, uh, it will always cancel. That's my last tip because I know you're doing this for YouTube as well. My bad. No, you're good, dude. You're good. If you have any tips I can throw in there too, uh, I, I'd appreciate it. Because I, I just got the game not too long ago. I'm still trying to learn what I'm doing. Like, I need to learn how to cancel that myself. Okay. Yeah, I kind of got you. Yeah, I gotcha. Yeah, okay, yeah. So, something like... I kind of goofed it there, but I got I get what you're saying. But yeah, those are just crushing blows. I believe that's every single one of them. Yeah, for this variation, so... Basically, what you want to be doing... We're going to want to be doing is... Um, using this cancel a lot, I'd say. Uh, just to continue mixing, you're just really going to want to mix with this variation too, and just really zone with it too. You know, time your, you can also save your crush and blow with that. Yeah, you're spending a meter to do it, but you can save it instead of using it. Um, just really playing your crush and blows out, hit your combos, hit your meterless launcher as your punisher, punisher you know, shit like that. Um, so... Yeah, he's pretty fucking good, in my opinion. I really want to hit that combo without that. So let's see how much you realistically get spending one meter. You get pretty much 40 damage. It took you hours of practice to get it down. I feel that, dude. Some of the shit on this game has. Spawn cancels not so much, but that, because, like, you could waste your cancel and accidentally do a fatal blow and it get blocked and get punished for it. So that was, that, that's a little bit more difficult one. But yeah. Uh, use this variation, the Clown Prince. Use him to, like, zone. You know, just keep people away. Use your parry. Be a fucking jackass with the parry. You know, use this uh, full screen. It kind of keeps them where they're at. They know they can't jump. They pretty much just got blocked. Um... Let's look at one corner combo for him real quick. One or two with the crushing blows. I forgot about that. So let's start with your Megalus. Shit. Shit. You might actually have to do this. Or. Shit. Shit. 
I actually hit it there. Uh, I thought I didn't. That's actually rough to hit. You might not be able to hit that. Damn. It's close. Kaishan bowing it is a little more tricky. Oh, I can see that. I can see that. I'm pretty sure you can hit this. You might have to do something else. I'm not sure. You might have to do something like that. Does knock him a little bit further. But he's got a little bit more cooldown. I'm also doing it a little slow. Ah. Uh, alright, let's try. Well, I mean, that's really his only meterless launcher right there. Uh, just try stand two, uh, after the four into overhead. Yeah, you might just have to do stand two or forward one into it. Shit. I think I did that a little bit too late anyway. He does fall a lot, that's the thing. I think I actually could have hit it there. Yeah, so you can hit that. It's just a little bit trickier. Uh, you guys kind of time the uh, forward just right. The standing forward just right. So, yeah. If you have your crush and blow, there's meagerless 40% in the corner, which is nutty. Um, you could probably time it just right for the other one, too. If you want to do this version, you might be able to. Maybe not, actually. Yeah. No? Damn. You might not be able to do that version. Yeah. So this one pops them up a little bit further. But then you got this for your crush and blow meter listen in, in the combo, or in the corner. You might have to do jump one there, but I'm pretty sure you can have a jump in there. Uh, for the little bit of extra damage. Yeah. Pretty sure you can. You just gotta time it right. Oh, shit. Probably do a standing four there. Maybe not. Maybe you don't want to do a standing four there. It's rough to hit. Hmm. You might not be able to hit that. But let's see what else you could do. So something like this. Standing four. Like something like this. Time to, you got to time to standing four right. On every Joker variation, his corner combo involves standing four for the most damage. Um, you just got to really time it right. And I'm not that good at that. There you go. Meterless 50% if you got both of those fucking loaded up and ready to go. But if you don't have them loaded up, want to use one meter, I think still, you know, 43%. Sometimes the easier combo is the safest, yeah, exactly. Sometimes the easiest combo is the safest, so an easy combo there with that crushing blow would be something like fucking just straight up hitting the 1-2-1 one, one into that. Uh, but you also do have the option of comboing into your fatal blow. So you hit your punish there. Ooh. Say it's like that. Get your punish. 
standing for one two one shit. Hold on. You can do a lot of fucking damage with Joker. So comboing to your Fagel Blow there in the corner. I mean this is without me spamming A and you're already up to fifty six percent. Which is fucking nuts. Even off your meter list there. Uh, you get the harder combo, meter list. You get meter list fatal blow damage here. You're out of meter, you're in the corner, you're pressuring, you finally get a hit in. I mean, you're doing over 40%. Basically 50% there. Uh, which is nutty. Uh, even you're down two here. Shit, even you're down two here. Shit. That's a little bit easier to drop for me because the air isn't so low and I'm feeling like the air is so low and I'm having to like hurry and hit it but I'm not. So off your down two crush and blow, you're getting I'm gonna spam A to see what I get. I don't even know if you can in practice. You're getting over fifty percent. I mean that's even in I mean this is gonna be basics for every variation of Joker, but even in the middle off of this, you know, shit. Dash up, shit. God damn it. Hit me wrong. Maybe you can hit that, hopefully. You might have to get real damn close. Yeah, there you go. Bro, because of you, my health spawn's nasty. Hell yeah, dude. We might do Joker and Spawn tonight for In the Lab, and then uh, do some sex with you if you want to. Um, do like a couple characters a night, because it is going to take so long. But yeah, there's 40, 44% off of that, and even in, you know, mid-screen off of your punish here. One, two, I think you can do 1-2-1 one, one there. I don't remember. Pretty sure. 1-2-1, one, one, dash up. Fucked it up. I mean, you're basically getting the same amount of damage. Dash up, one, two, one. Dash up, forward, four, and the fatal. You're gonna have to get a lot closer there. God damn it! My fatal never wants to come out in my combos, even my normal strings. And you can see me pressing it. I think it should. My, it just might be something with my Xbox controller. This Xbox and controller is a piece of shit. You might not be able to hit the fatal blow there. Uh, but, you know, you can experiment. I mean, even if you wanted to do, like, fucking... Shit. Even if you wanted to do something like, just dash up. Wow, I'm completely dropping that. Just confirm it. I think I'm holding it on accident. I'm not meaning to. Why is that not coming out? It's so weird. You might have to do another string, actually, to be able to hit that, but you can combo it. But let's move on to Ace of Knaves, my favorite variation.